you know what? I feel this particular game needs a different type of video. Roll the intro! Welcome, everybody, to the long-awaited Project Cars from Slightly Mad Studios. It's currently making waves as the most immersive driving experience in the world. And it's launched in full with a host of features. A full single-player career experience with cutscenes and voiceovers, fully customizable HUD layouts and onboard telemetry readouts. Multiplayer support, gorgeous graphics, and the amount of cars and tracks available is absolutely astonishing. And then, there's the way it sounds. However, there is just one problem. And that's why I've come here to Imola in Italy and why I'm here in this McLaren at 12C. You see, the problem with Project Cars is not that it's bad. No, far from it. It's very good. It's exceptionally good. And as far as driving simulators go, well, right now on PC anyway, there's very few that can compete with this and it's a game that surely lived up to the hype. But here it comes the extent of the problem. See, Project Cars is a lot like the McLaren MP4-12C. It's a very clinical car, much like a very surgically precise game. The cars handle fantastically, the graphics are exceptionally good, and You'd be hard pressed to find any faults with a lot of these. The game even runs at a very, very respectable frame rate. Rarely dropping below 60, uh, except in a few rare occasions. So what's the problem? Well, it's a little bit too clinical. And while that's not necessarily a bad thing for a simulator, in fact, it's exactly what you want. But if you're looking for a game to have fun in, You'd be hard-pressed to call this exactly a fun game. It doesn't have that air of fun about it, it's all serious. So if you're looking for a driving game to casually play, this, unless you're very experienced with driving games, this is not going to be for you. It lacks a certain zing, a certain, well, sense of fun, really. And that's really the main problem with it. I can't find many faults with, well, any of it, except for this one bit. It even handles very well with a steering wheel. I've actually plugged in my 360 racing wheel, and it seems to run fairly well with that. Of course, I'm not doing too well, to say the least. But that's really just the big elephant in the room when it comes to this particular title. Yes, it has gamey elements, it has a career mode, and yes, you can pick it up and have a casual bash in it, but that's not really what it's for. And if you're a casual player, much like myself, this isn't really going to be for you. And sadly, just like this McLaren right here, it's one car and one game that does what it does very, very well. But it doesn't do it with a smile on its face. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's in Panzer taking a look at Project Cars, now available on Steam for about 60-ish dollars or whatever your regional equivalent currency is. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.